As a police officer, I'm in positions where I see the worst in people. Nobody ever sees a cop unless there's a problem. So, you know, we're always walking into problems or issues. And so I've kind of become a little callous, if you will. We never thought that we would ever be in the situation that we were in. It was an accident. It was something that we never thought it could happen. I knew nothing about Children's Specialized Hospital. I never knew about any of the pediatric care. I, too, was like many other folks who thought that children were just scaled down versions of adults. And you realize that they're not. Hello? Around 5.15, we had a phone call. There had been an accident and that they had called 911. Got there and I, I saw a police car in front of the house. We didn't know what to expect. So I ran into the house and I looked and there was uh... I couldn't walk in when I saw my daughter that way. Our friend laying on the floor holding Ariana. The little boy a day or two, uh, he was nine, was his father had bought him a, a kid's compound bow. He was getting ready to get his hunting license. The little boy picked up the bow grab one of his father's target arrows. And rather than going out in the backyard and having a clear line of sight to the target, he was shooting from the garage into the backyard. So when she ran, she came right across and the arrow hit her eye and between her um, eye and her nose. Missing her brain stem by, I believe the doctor said it was an eighth of an inch, but still severing that MCA and causing her to have a major stroke. She pulled the arrow out herself, um, and then she just fell on the floor. We got to the hospital, and uh, we were told that she probably wouldn't make it through the night. That was the beginning of our nightmare. So an arrow hit you? Is that right? Ariana had been read her last rites. I got hit by a bone arrow. I couldn't speak, I couldn't talk, I can't, I can't walk. They put her in a medically induced coma for initially for two weeks, and we start to lose her. So they had to let her be, and then slowly for another week until she was able to wake up. And uh, she was able to wake up. Dr. Weiss said to us after a week, okay, no more trach, she can breathe at home. And that was scary, but she did it. There you go. The one hospital fixed her physically, but somebody had to take care of her and get her right uh, mentally. We tell everyone that we don't know what we would be or what we would do if we didn't have Children's Specialized Hospital by us. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and things are going to be okay. Fire. And then we met the folks from Children's Miracle Network. And it was like meeting angels. I can walk, I can talk. Right now I can talk much. <laughs> she doesn't recognize the things she can't do. And even after doing therapy, we always wondered, you know, is our little Ariana coming back? And she's definitely back. Beautiful day